Hello, this is Zephy's Old Lord 12345, and welcome back to Let's Play Twilight Princess. And we got a wooden sword from Russell. Yeah, I just felt like cliffhanging you guys there for some reason. It just seemed like a good time. I do have much more devious sick cliffhangers planned later. Okay, this is what I got. You happy now? Okay. So you want to go into the woods just to beat the crap out of monkeys. Okay, I'll teach you. I screw that up. Yeah, I get a little ahead of myself. Eh, these slices are all the same to me. Yeah, that's what I did before. Man, I am just screwing up today. Okay, I'm not screwing that up. I heard in the GameCube version you don't need to charge up a, a spin attack. Well, wait for it to charge back up. Ah yeah, the jump attack. I was actually surprised to find this myself while playing Ocarina of Time. Yeah, that's pretty much what I said. Don't make me spend another minute lecturing you. Okay, go have fun being up a monkey. Why does it look like you're guarding this place? Oh, he's not. Well, back into here after it triggering that. Never mind then. Anyway, we need to go follow them now. And I'll just tell you right now, you need a Pona. I really think they should have just said it to you earlier just to avoid some backtracking. But better late than never. You couldn't keep up with a four-year-old? Well, it's not like he got much further either. Well, he went pretty deep in. And there's a gate here. Wait, wasn't there a gate at the beginning of the game when Russell locked it up? So he left the one back at the bridge unlocked, but he actually took some time in to lock up this one. Whatever. Anyway, Tawa went that way, but we need to go this way first. Ominous sounding music there. Uh, so this is where Saz from Final Fantasy XIII came from. Yeah, but I can see okay in the dark. But I'll take this, thank you. Yeah, this is the closest thing to the fire rod we get. Like in most other Zelda games. Well, I'm glad they brought it back in Link Between Worlds. Mm -hmm. 
I'm not worried about running out of oil. I almost said fuel, but that would be odd. Yeah, don't worry about the enemies here. They shouldn't pose any challenge whatsoever. I mean, at all. This game is incredibly easy. But let's get going. Yeah, you don't exactly need to light up any of these torches. But I'm going to anyway. But this is what we really need the lantern for. Hmm. I never thought to burn the cords. Usually I just hit with a slingshot or use a well pinpointed jump strike like this. Well, you learn something new every day. Which does amaze me because this is my 11th playthrough of this game. Yeah, I love video games too much. A little more money, not bad. Okay, let's see if I can get this. Come on. How ah, the hell with it? Shut up. Okay, let's get going now. Why'd I put that away? Hmm. It's quite foggy here. Good thing it's not too foggy. Anyways, you can see on the map there are two targets that indicate where we need to go. We need to go to the upper left one first. Because I'll just tell you right now, we need a key in order to get to the other area. I'm gonna try to ambush that guy, but nope. Not like it really matters. But I do always need to be at full health. Just because it bothers me if I have any damage. Easy enough. Now if we light these two torches... It somehow causes this chest to appear. And I played Professor Lane vs. Phoenix Wright, I really shouldn't be questioning puzzles. But here's the key that I was talking about. And up here is... If I could get in front of the chest... Our first hard piece of the game. And unlike other Zelda games, you need five pieces in order to get a new heart container. So it does say... It does uh, open up more possibilities for exploring. I do understand the complaints of, of people saying that the overworld is empty, but it's satisfactory enough to me. Okay, in this nut, we get seeds. Yes, I just realized what I just said. Okay, just a little further. I was hoping I would be able to kill both of them at the same time. Oh well. What did he explode into? Oh yeah, another nice thing about Twilight Princess, you can swing the Wii Remote around 
Well, you can swing your sword while running in this game. And I don't think you could do that in any game. Any other game. Not even Skyward Sword. It's the little things that matter to me. That was a little annoying. Just let me get this ruby first and refuse to buy anything from you. And just to pour some more salt into the wound. Haha. <laughs> I thought that was a red ruby. Oh well. Well then. I'm not even sure what to say to that. Other than let's kill some more Bokoblins. And get some more money. You may want to duck. You're lucky I didn't cut your head off with that. Yeah, you would have been fine. Hmm. Okay. Up oh, too late for that. And it was more interesting than everything else we've done around here. How come? <laughs> hmm. And it's a Zelda game, of course we're gonna meet her. And we're back at the ranch now. More goat herding. Yeah, it's almost time. But we're not going to depart for Hyrule until tomorrow. See you next time.